In this video, we're going to do a first basic analysis in LSD Topo Tools. Um, the instructions come from the documentation website. Here's the documentation website, and we're going to go down to uh, this basic topographic analysis in LSD Topo Tools. Um, you will have needed to follow the installation video first, so hopefully you've done that. Um, if you've done that, you should have an LSD Topo Tools Docker container, uh, which you will start in a PowerShell window like this one, uh, or a terminal if you're in Linux or Mac. Um, I can't remember the exact command to call. I just always copy it uh, from here. So the command to call to run the Docker is this one. So you can copy it from the documentation website. Uh, however, because I use this program every day, uh, it's already in my PowerShell history. So this is the call to the Docker container. And if I start that, I've now got, wake up. I've now got the Topo Tools uh, Docker container working. So the hash symbol means that I'm inside the Docker container and I grab the latest version, uh, and um, if you've done this before, everything will already be uh, ready to go. So if I go back to the documentation, again, we go to the first analysis section. OK. Um, and there's a lot of material here, but I'm just going to jump ahead to actually doing the analysis. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to actually get the test data, okay? And we're going to use something called git to get that, but uh, git is installed inside your Docker container. Now you need to figure out where to put it. So I'm going to put it in the main LSD Topo Tools um, area. You could put it into data. Actually, let's put it into data. So we go into data. Um, and... Uh, I've got some rubbish in here, but I can just copy in that um, that command from the instructions, and what that will do will download the the data. So it's grabbing this from the internet, and now if I so there there's the data that I just grabbed. Uh, so I can go cd lsd tt. It's Linux, so you can auto complete with the tab button. And so we've got some random stuff in here. Um, what is all this stuff? So the drivers are commands to LSD Topo Tools programs. Uh, this is a DEM. And there's various other bits of this. So uh, what are we going to do? Well, so we can do the basic metrics driver file first. Um, now, what's in this file? Well, you, you might want to have a look at what's in this file. So if we go um, into the actual directory, so I have this in my C directory. So the C directory in my Windows operating system or whatever operating system you have, if you've run the Docker command correctly, it will be linked to what's in your Docker container. In this case, I put the files in data, and here's workshop data. Now, you should use a um, text editor to look at these files. Um, you can use a variety of text editors. Do not use word processing software. So uh, I like to use a program called Brackets. Here's Brackets. OK, and that is what the analysis software looks like. Anything with a hash symbol is a comment. Um, anything. And actually, there's word wrapping, so that's just one line there. Um, anything with a sort of name and then a colon after it is a parameter name for LSD Topo Tools. If it doesn't recognize the parameter name, it just ignores it. If it does recognize the parameter name, it will use that information. So in this case, the um, it's telling it the file name the read file name is wa, and I tell it what the file names to write are as well. And then I'm just telling it, uh, you're going to write a hillshade raster. Okay? 
So how do I do this? I'm going to use something called the LSDTT basic metrics uh, function. It's inside LSD topic tools. So if you've run uh, LSDTT setup, so you, you'll have done that in the beginning, you will have LSDTT basic metrics running. So all I need to do is I need to tell it what driver file I'm going to use. And I wanted that first one. So if I do wa basic metrics and I want the first one like that. So, oops. So now I just need to run this. Okay, that was very quick. Well, what did it do? If I look at my data again, um, so I told it the right file had uh, w, here, I'll bring this back. So the right file said wa first example, and now I've got some new rasters in NV bill format with that extension, wa first example, the underscore hs means hillshade. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I actually look at this data? Well, I use uh, QGIS. Um, so we can look in here in QGIS. So I go into uh, data. Don't want that. Workshop data. And I can add the original DEM and I can add this Hillshade DEM. So that's the original DEM. And there's the Hillshade data that I've just run with LSD Topo Tools. So that was your very first analysis in LSD Topo Tools. Um, in the instructions, basically we've just done uh, the very first bit of this instruction. So I'll, I'll go on to the next bit, so the second driver in the next video.